and welcome to my channel. My name is Nina. I run a blog and YouTube called Style with Nina. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, you have amazing taste. Here we talk about luxury, beauty, fashion, and travel. And if any of those things interest you, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you are notified of all of my amazing videos. So on today's video, I am going to just jump right in. I have bought a, um, a saw bag on the Bloomingdale's that I ended up purchasing because it looked identical as far as the shape is concerned to another bag that I got. So one bag cost $2,000. The, the um, bag that looks similar, I ended up paying less than $154. So let's just jump right in and, and do this comparison video something I wanted to do. I hope you guys enjoy it. And it may be videos on YouTube. I didn't even check to see if there's other videos out here on YouTube with this, but this is my perspective on it. So here we go. Okay. So this is the bag. Oh, I need to respray my bag. It's starting to get a little, st uh, anyway, this is the, everybody knows, Pouchette Matisse. Um, it's the, is it dent up or something? Lord have mercy, I hope ain't nothing wrong with this bag. Y'all know this bag has been recalled and recalled and recalled. And I hope I ain't got no recall bag. Um, anywho, I don't like what that bottom is doing. The bottom is like, we should, the bottom is looking a little bubbly to me. I don't know. I'm going to try stuffing it. Now I'm worried. Anyway, let me get on to this video. I don't see anything with the glazing. Okay. So, Pichette Matisse, everybody named mama, cousin, sister, brother, aunt, nephew, girlfriend, best friend, has this bag. And I fell into the trap of the social media and wanted this bag. I do like the bag. I do enjoy the bag. This is like my travel bag, the bag that I take with me. Wherever I go in the country, out of the country, it's just a bag that I don't really care about, if that makes sense. Like I can flop it across me and I ain't got to worry about it. Boom. I am worried about the the shadow though so I do protect it with my Twilly and I believe I did a whole unboxing on this so I'll make sure that I leave those videos in the description box so after you finish watching this video you can go see those so that's the unboxing for that I mean well that's this bag and then while I was you know Forgive me for being late to the game on the on the on the coach, but I'm late to the game. Like I said, Coach was a brand that I loved. Then I just started disliking because it was just flea market fine coach. Like everything, um, it just was looking of very low quality. So anyway, but lately Coach been fire. So you know. So I take a, I peruse the coach area on the website. You know, I do that just to see what's happening, see what's on sale. Because I will say, coach always has a sale. So please, from the bottom of my heart, do not buy coach at regular price, ever, under no circumstance. I mean, coach always has a sale. And I think that is why they have a hard time um, because the quality and the craftsmanship is there, but their marketing, it, yeah, always on sale, always on 30% off, 50% off, always on, so don't. Anyway, so I got this bag on sale, and I was like, this looks like my Pochette Matisse. I mean, it's a little... 
It's a little different. I'm gonna hold both of them up at the same time. Okay, so let me hold both of them up. I mean, if I'm being real honest with you, the Pochette Matisse is sexier. It just is. I think it is because of the kind of the V shape that the Pochette is doing. But this one is kind of more rounded, so it makes it look just a little bit, you know, a little, little, little country looking. But anyway, it's still a cute bag. It's still, you know, the leather. This bag is all leather with suede. This is coated canvas with a little bit of leather. So $2,000, $200. As far as quality is concerned, of course, leather is going to be better than coated canvas, in my opinion. Now, it does depend on the leather. You know, you got the smooth leather, you got the lamb leather, you got all kind of leather. But coach leather tends to wear really, really good. Um, I got vintage coach bags that listen a little polish on them brand new so um as far as weight is concerned the coach weighs more than the pochette Matisse. they both don't have the only thing that's in both of the bags is um the strap so that is i'm just trying to they are almost identical in size. I'm going to get a tape measure and measure both. So that is the side of, let me do it this way. That is the side of the Coach Cassie. And I'll do this side. And that is the side of the Pouchette Boutiste. They both have the accordion divider type situation, which is kind of annoying. Um, I also like the handle on the Pochette Matisse seems to be a little taller, just a little taller than um, the Coach Cassie. The back of the bag, let me move my fabulous strap out the way. Okay, so the back of the bag I definitely like the pocket of the Coach Cassie more so than the zipper. I mean, I guess the zipper is more protection if you're out of town, which is what I tend to use this bag for. But if you're like me, I tend, what I use the back of the bag for is to put my phone in. Because with both of these bags, once they strapped in, you ain't, you ain't trying to undo the strap to get the, you ain't trying to do all that. So... This one would be easier to just slap your phone in. See? Boom. Let's just see. Put your phone in there. Does it leave a little? You don't see any indentation. Once you add your phone, let me add it into. It barely fits. And so, I mean, you got to make it struggle for. So, I mean, both of them. I would say the size of the back pocket is comparable. Now let's look on the inside. This one has a twist lock, which is easier, even though my twist lock got a little scratch on it, but whatever. So um, inside of the bag, they both have the whole little the compartment. You see one, two three so this is one where you see the white is two and that's three plus coach has a little zipper thing right there in the middle compartment the pochette Matisse you have to open up like that it's harder to open of course It has, let me make sure I stuff my bag at the bottom too. See what's going on with that. Um, the inside, the Pochette Matisse seems as though um, it opens up more 
than the Coach Cassie, which means you can put more. This, I got a video of, I think, what can fit in this bag. It's like a little, what you call them, uh, the clowns, a whole bunch of clowns. I mean, like, it's a little playhouse. You can put so much stuff in this bag, which is why this tends to be my travel bag. Um, so that's the inside of that. It has the pocket here. Everything is brown, so you can't really see it. Inside, I think this compartment, I'm pretty sure, is bigger than the Coach Cassie. It does not have a zipper on the inside, which is, I kind of like that about the Cassie. And then it has this third part. So I will say with this Pochette Matisse, if you're thinking about getting this bag, you don't want to put nothing right here. This this front, the, this part right here, uh, put a little tissue or something like that because it will change the whole, if you put too much in this front compartment, it totally changes the shape of the bag. It like makes the shape, it, it ain't right. So here you just want to use these two compartments and then you really don't want to use this back compartment if I'm being real honest with you because it, it kind of will stick out of the back of that so have not worn this coach Cassie to give you my two cents on that but I will wear it and maybe do a, another video I definitely like the way the bottom of this bag is made if i'm being honest this bag feels like it's made it's constructed better than the pochette motifs i hate to say it you you bought the bag because it's got the lvs all on it that's why i bought the bag so i mean if we being real on this channel we are real we are luxury lovers we don't apologize for loving our luxury items our designer items if we can afford it we buy it that's it now on to craftsmanship this bag feels like it's made better. It just does. Um, the bottom of the bag, like I said, feels better. The bottom of this bag is like bubbling up some weird way. I don't know what that's about. I'm going to try to stuff it um, and hope that it helps with the shape. I don't know. Hopefully I don't have a recall bag. Y'all know about all the bags has been recalled. Okay, so this is the Coach Cassie strap and is it the same this is just so the straps look like they are almost identical um I think they're almost identical because like on the um, Pochette Matisse bag, you can kind of go up and make the bag longer. They're just constructed differently, but I believe that they're very, very similar. And um, your cross body situation, you know, how you want to it over as far as the width of both straps they are also almost identical I will say that it looks like the Cassie is just a bigger what's crazy is it looks like they even have the same hardware on the bag so this is the obviously the Pochette Matisse and this is the Coach Cassie and that is the same like it's the whatever that part mechanism is called um it says lv on this one and say coach on that one but the it looked the same um yeah if i would have been thinking i would have did like a we just open Yeah, they're very similar. Like I said, I think that you, just per my observation, I think that you would be able to get more out of the, you would be able to fit more inside of the Pochette Matisse. Um, if you want to see that video, if you want to see me 
seeing what can fit inside both bags. Leave that in the, the comment section and I'll do it, but I just don't want to, I'm already doing this video for myself, but I'm going to upload it because I was curious to see for myself um, how similar the bags were. Um, if Coach would just make that a V and not round, it would look so much better. This one looks straight up like a school bag. Whereas to me, the coach, I mean the coach, the Pouchette Matisse just looks a little bit like a still school baggy, but a little bit more stylish school bag. Um, anything else you can compare? I definitely like that I don't have to worry about the the handle on this, so I don't have to. You know what would be cute on here, y'all? I just bought this Hermes Twilly. Even though I like I like to contrast with my this would be real matchy matchy. But you know, if I just wanted to be, you know, up in the bougie, I could so easily. Throw the little Hermes Twilly on that what? If I just wanted to blue it out, now to me that's a, you know, I would do a totally different color. But that, what? The Hermes Twilly around that would be, that would be cute or whatever. I think so. Because it, it contrasts a little bit. That would be cute. If you want to see that video, my Hermes unboxing video, um, I'll leave that in the description as well. So I think, again, if I had to pick one bag over the other, and if price was no problem, I definitely would get the Louis Vuitton bag over the coach. Call me bougie, but I would. Yes, the craftsmanship is better than the Louis Vuitton. It is. However, it's Louis Vuitton versus Chanel. Like, are we Chanel? Coach. It's a Louis Vuitton versus Coach. So, um, I'm that girl. I am. I got both bags, so it ain't like I won't rock both of them. But if I had to pick one, um... I definitely would pick the Louis Vuitton over the coach bag. I would. I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> I would. But they are really, 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 really similar. Um, which is what I thought when I purchased this one. So I literally just purchased this bag because I like the color of it. And I thought that it, nothing in my collection was this color, so I thought it would be a good addition to add as far as color is concerned. Um, and I just wanted to see how similar the two bags were. And I'm wondering what bag came out first, because we know that the Pochette Matisse is a kind of a more current version of the Montel, I'm, I'm sure I'm murdering it, but it's another bag the Louis Vuitton had out that the Pouchette Matisse was styled after. And then as far as Coach is concerned, Coach also, and I have that vintage bag, I may do that video too. The old Cassie verse, it's not, I think it wasn't called the Cassie, but um, I have a vintage bag that is almost identical. Coach, a vintage Coach bag that's almost identical to this Cassie bag. Um, so they both kind of redid bags that they had already had in existence. So I don't know if one was copying the other. They're real similar though. They're real, real similar. So there's that. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did recording the video. I did. It, it's crazy how similar the bags are. But yeah. What do we say on this channel? Stay stylish and stay fabulous. And if I can, this bag, I have not been able to locate um, because 
someone, um, I sent the picture to somebody when I got the bag. And they were like, oh, I want the bag. And I was trying to find it for them online. Couldn't find it. Um, so I'll try to link this bag. If not, I'll link something similar to it. It's definitely worth even full price of $400 is definitely worth that. Again, I wouldn't buy no coach bag for full price because they always go on sale. So coach, y'all need to stop doing that. If you want your stuff to be, you know, because I feel like y'all trying to go, y'all trying to be luxury. But you can't be luxury if you ain't learned nothing. What luxury fashion houses be having their stuff on sale all the time? Besides Gucci. And that's the outlet. Anyway, um... So yeah, that is my spiel. Stay stylish and stay fabulous. If you have any questions about either of the bags, leave them in the comment section. And if you want me to do, a, you know, what fits inside both bags to see the comparison of that, leave that in the comments. Or, and if you would like to see the comparison video of the vintage versus new uh, style of the Cassie bag let me know that one I'll go ahead and do it because I got time because we're in a global pandemic so yeah so that is it Mwah. stay stylish stay fabulous bye